Hey you guys, I hope you all are having a great day today. So I have a quick but powerful video for you guys on the supplements that I am using currently and have even gone more consistent with and just the ones that I've barely been honing in on. Like if I'm gonna take anything and really work to make this a habit all year, these are the three that I have been working on this year. And I want to share this for a couple reasons. One is to just give you these tangible three supplements that I'm taking so it can help your health and improve your energy. And the other one is that there's all kinds of supplements we could all be taking out there, right? And maybe you know some people you follow that are taking a ton of them. Maybe, you know, like I follow people and I'm like, oh, like, yes, yes, yes. And, and I follow different in, endurance and nutrition blogs and people and websites and it can be a little overwhelming to be like well, which ones should I take what should I do what's the most important ones should I even be taking them so I just want to offer a couple things to start with supplements in general so one you always get to choose and be in control of the choices for your body and just like food or anything nutrition related or even exercise related, like we get to be the ones in the driver's seat. So it's always good to experiment and see what actually works for you and take note, be really conscious when you're taking any supplements. Is this improving? Is this, do I not necessarily feel anything? Like what's the difference? And I will say that with any supplement, or any change to your nutrition or, or workouts, really you need to give it, need to give it at least three weeks, if not longer. Three weeks is like bare minimum, like probably not even gonna see a change yet. Three months, now we're talking. Now you can really start to reflect and see like, am I seeing a change or difference with taking this supplement? Should I take more? Should I take less? Do I not need to take it at all? Or should I change brands? You always choose and be in the driver's seat, but give yourself at least three weeks, really preferably like three months, to really give any supplement a full like, is this working for me, okay? Sorry, I should have turned off my notifications. Okay, and then what else was I gonna say? The second part is, again, just like diet or exercise or anything, like the brands you may decide to experiment and try this brand, you can experiment and try this brand. I will always say that with supplements, my like top, what I'm looking for is quality. I would rather only take three supplements or a few of them and have very high quality, trusted sources from what I'm taking versus just taking 10 of like, I don't know, Walmart quality, like whatever it is. I'm not dissing Walmart if you do that, but I'm just saying source matters. Look into how it's being processed, where it's coming from, the validity of it. That really does matter. It's kind of like organic food versus not organic. And listen, I have some organic and I have some not organic, right? So I'm picking and choosing my battles there and I'm just offering for you guys to do the same thing. And I would rather have really quality sources of a couple things that I can afford versus trying to stretch myself thin and just have like some half-assed so-so supplements, if that makes sense, you know? Um, and then, so uh, we talked about experimenting then, the quality of source, um, trying something for three weeks to three months, and then I will offer this too. And this kind of goes with, um, you'll start to hear me talk about soon, start slow, finish big, or excuse me, start small, finish big. So don't try, I would encourage you to just try one, maybe two, three supplements at most at a time versus trying to just go gung ho and add all the things in, then you won't be able to pinpoint what is working and what isn't working, right? So I would encourage you to maybe just start with one of these or two of these or maybe these three um, as a starting point and then start to notice and choose how they are working for you before you add in other supplements, okay? Okay, enough ranting. That's kind of just some quick guidelines on supplements in general, but here we go. 
So I'm gonna start with my electrolytes because I feel like most people, me being an endurance athlete, I've been aware of electrolytes for over eight years now because in ultra running, like we need these, we need salt, we need potassium and magnesium, we need all of these so that we can run that far. But most people are not running that far. So it's like, like I don't, you don't even think about it. But research, I've really been reading a lot and following along with um, BPN. These, this is the electrolytes that I'm using right now, but I'm a huge fan also of the LMNT, like Larry Moe, Notorious Tommy. LMNT also has some good resources and blogs and education on their website and a great product too about our electrolyte needs that like you and me every day like even if you're not an endurance athlete if you're not an athlete at all like if you're just trying to get off the couch and and you want and the reason for it is it's going to give you better energy better focus you're not gonna have that as I use this a lot of times in the afternoon when I'm kind of feeling that slumpy like feeling or low energy. That's when I'm actually drinking my electrolyte drink or with my workouts for that day. But I have this almost every day with or without my workouts. So I just wanna offer that to like all of us to really take a look at some research and start to think about including some electrolytes into our day. I think it's been one of the most powerful things that's come out in the last year on health tre trends, um, but has validity to it. So electrolytes. And again, I this is like every day, nine out of 10 days I'm having my electrolytes, whether I work out or not, okay? And if I do do longer runs and work out more, I'm gonna have more, but that's just a baseline. Okay, number two. Um, been really pretty consistent with these all year long. I did a different brand, Organifi, in the beginning of the year. Really liked that brand. It was just a little pricier, so I switched to the BPN Strong Greens. And this, you guys, is like my multivitamin now because I wasn't that great at taking a multivitamin. And the ones that I like are a quality source, so a little more expensive. I'm really good at drinking my greens and I feel like there's a lot more in here, a lot of different things in here that you can't get in the multi, a, a daily multi supplement. So I'm just going all in on the greens and I'll be honest, the days, sorry, the days that I have this, I feel so much better. I really do feel a shift in my energy that day and consecutively over time, I have absolutely noticed a difference when I have my green drink. Overall, like I think some Saturdays when I have the boys and we're just like going all out and I maybe forget to drink it. So then come Sunday, it's kind of like the afternoon and I might be like, just kind of feeling blah and I'm like, ah, I need to drink my greens. So I highly recommend this. I'll kind of share some of the things in it and you can put this in your smoothie. You could just shake it up plain. I actually, it tastes really good. This is pineapple coconut. It tastes really good by itself. It's not like grassy or like not good. My boys drink it. Um, we call it Hulk juice. So what's in it? There's an organic green blend, grass powder, wheat grass powder, barley grass powder, spirulina, organic lemon juice, chlorella, uh, coconut water, freeze-dried, beet root juice, turmeric, and ashwagandha. So just some good stuff to help like with uh, de-stressing our bodies, giving it more antioxidants, and I really do notice a difference with that. That's number two. All right, my last one, the third one, is um, by Pure Encapsulations. It is a vitamin D3 supplement, and um, I did get my blood levels checked this summer and saw I was low on some vitamin D. So I did my research, found this company, I asked around. This is a highly um, suggested company by multiple friends in the health industry to me. So you can get it on Amazon. Um, but I've been taking it since this summer then. Again, nine out of 10 days, eight out of 10 days. Whether or not, this isn't something that I literally feel any effects on. Like I'm like, ooh, I have more energy, you know, necessarily. But I will say if there's a couple days that I'm not taking these things, something feels a little off. So I'm just like, do the check. Did I take my vitamin D? Have I had my electrolytes today? Have I had my green juice today? 
just those three things. And honestly, you can combine these two. I, th I just did a video, I think last week on Superman juice where I just combine these two. So boom, done. Just a couple things. So I always, when I'm feeling a little out of whack, I check myself and like, did I have these three main foundational supplements in my day? If not, time to get on it. Um, so the vitamin D2, I just wanted to mention, if you haven't heard it already, it's great for your immunity. It's um, great for anti-inflammatory. So both of those things, we are still in the COVID pandemic. So I have, I've gotten sick once this year and that was literally like over Thanksgiving weekend where my boys got sick, my little boys. So they brought it home to me. I was able to only be down for a day. And by that, I mean, I was still working on my laptop, sitting on the couch, being productive as because I still felt good mentally. It was just my body having a fever and releasing that. And then the next day I was already on the up and up. Third day done, like no cold. Little stuffy still, but like overall y'all, one cold with two little boys all year long in the middle of COVID, I'm just saying that why not protect your health with just a few really simple things that are pretty cost effective. I have really tried to find that balance between not going overboard on spending on supplements and yet being really intentional and good quality sources that I can take daily and consistently. So that immunity, anti-inflammatory, we're talking any and all kinds of diseases here that could be as not only diseases, but daily health as far as like, if you wanna help lose weight, it helps um, cancer is obviously, uh, inflammatory disease, heart conditions, um, respiratory, I mean, you name it, anti-inflammatory is good for you. We all have a lot of inflammation in our bodies that causes a lot of diseases. So those are just two things. And then the third thing that I really feel vitamin D is huge for, again, if you haven't heard it already, is your mood. So it can really help increase your mood, especially anybody that's in a colder state where you may not get outside as much during the winter, the fall, winter, then we really need some vitamin D because you can get vitamin D from the sun if you're out in the sun in the middle of part of the day. Um, read more into that, but that's basically what I've gotten from it. And so if you're not getting outside and not in that sun, and it's the middle of winter, like you really could use some vitamin D would be my thoughts from what I've read so far. So just three really great easy supplements I would recommend looking into for yourself. As always, you be in the driver's seat and start small so you can finish big, learn what works for you, and then keep going with that. And what doesn't, you go ahead and ditch it. But that's um, my start on supplements and what I've really come to love this last year. So I hope you guys give some a try or message me if you have any questions on anything. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys again soon.